Hello, welcome to Earth Science. Before I begin with this course, let me make some few notes. This lecture is intended for online distance learning of the course subject for this academic year 2020 to 2021. Therefore, your understanding towards the materials that I present to you is required as part of the course. If you feel the need to catch up with the topic, you can freely pause the video and replay it on your own convenience. Now let's begin. Today, we will discuss about the origin of the universe and the solar system. This will be our first lesson on Module 1, Origin and Structure of the Earth. You may also check our Microsoft Teams to follow the flow of our lessons. So, at the end of this lecture, you are expected to meet the following objectives. First, you should be able to describe the structure and composition of the universe. Next, you should be able to explain the Big Bang Theory and its evidences. Third, explain how the redshift has been used as a proof of an expanding universe. Fourth, you should be able to identify the large and small scale properties of the solar system. And lastly, discuss the different hypotheses explaining the origin of the solar system. Ready? All right. Astronomers and scientists believe that there must be something that let the universe to start from a certain origin. But, what is really out there? And what is it all made? The universe, as we currently know it, comprises all space and time, and all the matter and energy in it. The astronomers thought that the universe are composed of ordinary matter. Everything you see, like the sun, the moon, the distant galaxies, even your body and your shoes, are all made of what we call ordinary atomic matter. However, in the past few decades, there has been ever more evidences that suggest, there is something on universe that we cannot see. Perhaps, new forms of matter. Now, what are the components of the universe? And what are the structures within it? Aside from energy and matter, there are also mysteries that our scientists discovered and yet to explore. Our universe is composed of 4.6% baryonic matter, 71.4% of dark energy and 22% dark matter. The universe is made of 4.6% baryonic matter, also known as, ordinary matter. Ordinary matter consists of protons, electrons and neutrons. In other words, the atomic nuclei. Astronomers therefore, use the term to refer all objects made of atomic matter. Atoms, planets, stars and galaxies, and other bodies such as asteroids, comets and meteoroids are all made of baryonic matter. The rest of the universe appears to be made of a mysterious, invisible substance called dark matter and a force that repels gravity known as dark energy. Dark matter is invisible. It doesn't emit, reflect or absorb light, or any type of electromagnetic radiation such as, X-rays or radio waves. Thus, dark matter is undetectable directly. More is unknown, than is known. Dark energy is the name given to the mysterious force that's causing the rate of expansion of our universe to accelerate over time rather than to slow down. That's contrary to one might expect from a universe that begun with a Big Bang. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. According to Big Bang Theory, the universe has expanded and later cooled to form subatomic particles in the simplest elements. Hydrogen along with some lithium and helium is the first element came to existence. Stars. The building blocks of galaxies which are born out of clouds of dust and gas in galaxies. Instability within the clouds eventually results into gravitational collapse. Rotations speeding up and transform into a protostar. How and when did the universe begin? No other scientific question is more fundamental or provokes such spirited debate among researchers. After all, no one was around when the universe began, so who can say what really happened? The best that scientists can do, is work out the most foolproof theory, backed up by observations of the universe. The trouble is, so far, no one has come up with an absolutely indisputable explanation of how the cosmos came to be. 
Based on recent data, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. The diameter of the universe is possibly infinite but should be at least 91 billion light years. Light years, the distance light can travel. The non-scientific thoughts since the ancient times. These are different theories about the origin of the universe from the basis of many religious practices as well as atheistic, or non-religious viewpoints held by different people. Ancient Egyptians believed in many gods and myths. In all of these myths, the world was said to have emerged from an infinite, lifeless sea when the sun rose for the first time, in a distant period known as the First Acacian. The Kuba people of Central Africa, tell the story of creator God, Bumba, who, alone in a dark water-covered earth, felt an intense stomach pain and vomited the stars, sun, and moon. In India, there is the narrative that God sacrificed Purusha, the primal man whose head, feet, eyes, and mind became the sky, earth, sun, and moon, respectively. The monotheistic religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, claim that a supreme being created the universe, including man, and other living organisms. The 1920s was more a decade of consolidation, than of revolutionary advance in cosmology. Advances in nuclear physics helped transform cosmological speculations into quantitative calculations. The steady state theory was first proposed by Sir James Jeans in the 1920s, but it really got a boost in 1948 when it was reformulated by Fred Hoyle. The universe has no definite age. This theory describes that the universe keeps on creating new matter, as it expands in order to maintain its average density. The universe is the same at any time and in any place. But as scientists had gathered more empirical data through the past decades, and proclaimed more discoveries, it became clear that the origin of the universe can be explained better, by the Big Bang Theory. Steady State Theory Background and Development When Einstein created his theory of general relativity, the early analysis showed that it created a universe that was unstable, expanding or contracting rather than the static universe. Einstein also held this assumption about a static universe, so he introduced a term into his general relativity field equations called the cosmological constant. This served the purpose of holding the universe in a static state. However, when Edwin Hubble discovered evidence that distant galaxies were, in fact, expanding away from the Earth in all directions, scientists, including Einstein realized, that the universe didn't seem to be static, and the term was removed. Today, the consensus among scientists, astronomers, and cosmologists is that, the universe as we know it, was created in a massive explosion, that not only created the majority of matter, but the physical laws that govern our ever-expanding cosmos. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space, as the theory's name might suggest. Instead, it was the appearance of space everywhere in the universe, researchers have said. In the 1930s, George Lametre had suggested that the universe might have originated when a primeval, cosmic egg exploded in a spectacular fireworks, creating an expanding universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was born as a very hot, very dense, single point in space created an incredible mixture of energy and subatomic particles. The first matter in the universe. Stages of the Big Bang Theory The beginning of the universe was at time zero. At time zero, a large amount of hot dense body of energy, marked the beginning of time and space. Transformation of energy into matter 
The explosion also produced an afterglow or radiation, such as radio waves, visible light, X-rays, and ultraviolet reactions. Nucleosynthesis is the process that creates new atomic nuclei from pre-existing nucleons, primarily protons and neutrons. Formation Formation of stars, galaxies and the continuous expansion of the universe. The mass of particles and light elements expanded into space and are grouped to form a rotating cloud of hot gases and particles called nebula. The angular momentum from the nebula's rotation and the gravitational force from the mass of the nebula, formed the rings of gas outside. As the nebula continued to shrink, these rings condensed into various densities of planets and their satellites. The remaining part of the nebula, which has the most mass, formed the Sun. Major driving factors in the formation of the universe. Gravity. Heat. And lastly, mechanical movement on the material expansion or shrinkage. Now physicists found plausible numbers for the cosmic abundances of different elements that would be created in an initial cosmic explosion. And evidence that the universe is expanding. A key part of this comes from observations of the cosmic microwave background, which contains the afterglow of light, and radiation left over from the Big Bang. This relic of the Big Bang, pervades the universe and is visible to microwave detectors, which allows scientists, to piece together clues of the early universe. To clock the speeds of these galaxies, Hubble took advantage of the Doppler effect. This phenomenon occurs when a source of waves, such as light or sound, is moving with respect to an observer or listener. If the source of sound or light is moving toward you, you perceive the waves as rising in frequency. Sound becomes higher in pitch, whereas light becomes shifted toward the blue end of the visible spectrum. If the source is moving away from you, the waves drop in frequency. Sound becomes lower in pitch, and light tends to shift toward the red end of the spectrum. The oscillating universe theory is a hypothesis credited by Richard Tolman, who saw it as a possible outcome of the Big Bang. The oscillating universe theory suggests, that once the universe reverses and attains the point of singularity, another universe will be born. This is referred to as the Big Bounce. Tolman theorized that the universe may be first in the cycle and could be a result of a previous Big Bounce event. Oscillating Universe Theory It is a combination of the Big Bang and Big Crunch theory. That is we live in between the Big Bang and the Big Crunch. The theory suggests that our universe now may be a part of a cycle of universes. The Big Crunch occurs when the universe expands and eventually reverses, then collapses causing a singularity or the formation of another Big Bang. Just like in the steady state theory, scientists discovered many loopholes in the oscillating universe theory because for the universe to collapse, after it reaches its full expansion, which violates some laws of physics, 